Hello, students. Class twelve. Let us continue inverse trigonometric functions, part three. Let us discuss exercise two point two on the basis of properties of inverse trigonometric functions. Question number one. Three sine inverse x equal to sine inverse three x minus four x cube, where x belongs to Close interval minus one by two to one by two. How to prove this? These kind of properties we have done also, and the process is same. Let's assume three sine inverse x as x, and then sine inverse x is we are taking theta, therefore x is sine theta. Now let us replace on RHS x as sine theta. After replacing it, we are getting sine inverse three sine theta minus four sine cube theta, which is a formula of sine three theta. Sine three theta is three sine theta minus four sine cube theta. And you know, sine inverse and sine are together. That's why what is left three theta, and theta is replaced as sine inverse x. Therefore, RHS equal to LHS, hence it is true. Now, what about the next one? Let us discuss question number second. It is three cos inverse x equal to cos inverse four x cube minus three x, where x belongs to close interval one by two to one. Process same. Cos inverse x is theta. Therefore, x is cos theta. Consider RHS. On RHS, replace x as cos theta. After replacing it, we are getting four cos cube theta minus three cos theta. It is a formula of cos three theta, and cos inverse cos are together. That's why what is left three theta, and theta is replaced as cos inverse x. Therefore, again, LHS equal to RHS. Hence, it is proved. Now, what about the next one? Tan inverse two by eleven plus tan inverse seven upon twenty four equal to tan inverse one by two. Now let us consider LHS. Tan inverse two by eleven plus tan inverse seven upon twenty four. Two by eleven we can assume it as x x and seven upon twenty four it as y. And we know this property that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equal to tan inverse x plus y upon one minus x y. In this case, you always check x into y is less than one or not. Here, if you will multiply both of them, you will get less than one. That's why we can apply this property. And after applying it, we are getting tan inverse x plus y upon one minus x into y. After simplifying it, we are getting tan inverse one twenty five upon two fifty. And they are cancelled, and what is left? An inverse one by two, which is RHS. Hence, it is proved LHS equal to RHS. Now, let us discuss other questions. Question number four. It is two tan inverse one by two plus tan inverse one by seven equal to tan inverse thirty one upon seventeen. Let us consider LHS. Two tan inverse one by two plus tan inverse one by seven. 2 tan inverse x is tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square, and let us apply it. X is 1 by 2, therefore tan inverse 2 into x, x is 1 by 2 upon 1 minus x square, x is 1 by 2. After simplifying it, we are getting tan inverse 4 by 3, and tan inverse 1 by 7 as it is. Therefore, now what we have tan inverse 4 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Let's apply this property that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equal to tan inverse x plus y upon one minus x y. Again, I am telling you it is x and it is y. By multiplying, we are getting less than one. That's why we can apply this property, and that is tan inverse x plus y upon one minus x into y. After simplifying it, we are getting tan inverse thirty one upon seventy. That is RHS, and hence it is proved. Now, what about the next one? Now we have to write the function in the simplest form. 
in this case we have to choose x as either sin theta cos theta or tan theta now what we know we know that 1 plus x square x is tan theta therefore 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta whose root we can take as sec theta as there is plus sign that's why we have to take x as tan theta after replacing x as tan theta in the numerator and denominator we are getting this step and in place 1 plus tan square theta it is secant square theta whose root is secant theta minus 1 as it is and tan theta as it is by changing secant theta and tan theta in terms of sin and cos we are getting 1 minus cos theta upon sin theta and tan inverse as it is and we know that 1 minus cos theta is formula of 2 sin square theta by 2 and sin theta is a formula of 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 after cancellation of 2 and 2 and sin theta by 2 sin theta by 2 we will get tan theta by 2 will become theta by 2 and theta is replaced as tan inverse x therefore its final answer will be tan inverse x upon 2 its remaining part you try or complete it yourself now what about the next question again we have to write in the simplest form but here it is x square minus 1 and in this case we have to take x either as secant theta or cosec theta now here we are taking x as cosec theta after taking cosec theta x as cosec theta cosec square theta minus 1 is cot square theta whose root is cot theta and therefore 1 upon cot theta is 10 theta tan and tan inverse is theta is left and theta is replaced as cosec inverse x. We know that cosec inverse x plus secant inverse x is pi by 2. Either we can write it as cosec inverse x or pi by 2 minus secant inverse x. That is our choice. Hence, these are two are the simplest form of inverse trigonometric function. Similarly, you can try other parts of this question and we will make again. Thank you so much and revise them properly. Okay, goodbye.